from Six Flags Great America's Holiday in the Park Lights. We are here in front of the pond that isn't filled, so you don't get to see the bubbles this year. But if like, I will, I'll tag, I'll tag the video from last year so you guys can see what it looks like with bubbles. We're gonna come back and see this area. It looks much better when it's darker and the, the lights have a chance to shine, pun intended. Right now, we're just gonna maybe try to go into Mardi Gras to see the elf show before going to see the tree lighting. So let's see if we can get there. <laughs> My kids are indifferent, but Daffy is out greeting people. One of the first things that we're coming across here in the, um, what do you call this area? Jingle Bells area is this giant reef to take your picture with. Over here is the reindeer on his break reading the newspaper. About reindeer. <laughs> Santa update. They have some of the holiday photo ops. They have this Hanukkah one. Happy Hanukkah. That one just says holiday in the park. It's the Six I'm Flags one. One for every single day. One, yeah. Five. Over here in front of Superman, they have Our the man. ice carvers getting ready for their five, six, and seven o'clock show where they are going to carve some blocks of ice. We'll have to check it, check back on our way back. We almost made it for the Elf Live show. They started without us. Okay, I don't run.
Hey, that reminds us of the cold. I think I heard it. What's his name? Frosty. Yes. That's right. It's the one, the only, Frosty the Snowman. Let's sing it. off the night. We are heading towards hometown square on the way. I think we're going to see about getting some hot cocoa and uh, 
peppermint funnel cake from the Starbucks at Go Fresh and the funnel cake, Antoine's funnel cakes. So then go head into Hometown Square to watch the tree lighting. And we do have some Christmas characters. I almost forgot there's more reindeer. That one's just a tree body. And where's, oh, there's the one across the way. It's both the tree and the lights. Mm, peppermint. Let's try this peppermint funnel cake. And it tastes good at least. They kind of destroyed it. Raven hoarded most of it. Here at Letters to Santa, it's Sugar Plum Keepsakes, which is the Max Horse store. You can come in and they have where you can write your letter to Santa and put it in one of the Santa uh, mailboxes there. I love the way that they decorate the bridges here with the different colors. We've got some firewood burning to get ready to light the fire pit up. Welcome to Six Flags Great America's Holiday Life. To help get into the holiday spirit, please welcome Great America's very own Mistletones. Happy Holiday! Happy Holiday! While the merry bells keep ringing, Happy Holiday! Happy Holiday!
flags to you. The gingerbread men are out. Is there a, there's elves around. So we got some characters. Grand Music Hall already has people lined up for the holiday show, which is called Wonderland. And Wonderland at the Grand. We were gonna go to this, but everyone's hungry, so we're gonna get some food first. So we'll probably try to come back for maybe the 7 or 8.30 show. We're inadvertently following the gingerbread. <laughs> Let's get a shot of Hometown Square in all of its red and green light glory because it's definitely a fun display with the Christmas tree. This is definitely screaming Christmas vibes in here and nutcrackers. Over here in front of Wizard, since they closed down the ride, there's a cute little photo op. Are you gonna sit in the chair? Let me zoom in and make it, I can zoom in and make it look like you're sitting in the chair. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> All right, I got it. Another shot of the tree from a little further back. Decked out like uh, Santa. Santa. Over here at Trudy's Sweets, here at Hometown Square, is where you can do your cookie decorating for an added charge. And on the back side of here is Holiday S'mores, where you can get your s'more kit to go over to those fire pits for s'mores. And here, that ride's not open, fun machine, but it's just triple play over in that area, that is. You can kind of get an idea of the lights here in the Carousel Plaza. Just white lights, very classic. I'll show the front of the carousel when we leave, but it's not as impressive as last year since the pond isn't filled. We almost walk right past uh, Daffy and Bugs without realizing they were there. Just wanted to show off the pretty colors in the Mardi Gras area of the green and the purple and some orange. The game is very much themed to Mario now, if you look. Got the characters on the tops. That is fun. Okay, this is making. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. <laughs> Whoa, this is like intense. <laughs> There's Raven. Raven had to get out to walk in the snow. Oh, look, that's new. I don't remember this ornament before. Oh, you can take your picture in it. Okay. It's like what they had at the zoo that one year. I don't know if we actually ever got that video out because <laughs> I lost footage. If I get it back, I will post it. Here is Happy Kwanzaa with their candles. Capone's, I know, has an apple strudel type thing. Jack Snack is open across from Capone's as well. Good to see a snack place open some flickering lights going on over here. <laughs> oh, I don't remember these flowers before. Those are pretty cool. Quite dark over here by Vertical Velocity, AKA what is gonna be known as the Flash. It's all painted at least now. Here we go home for the holidays with the pretty classic twinkling lights. I don't want to go in this weird room of doom. What room of doom? It makes me dizzy. That's not this. Yeah, it still makes me dizzy. All of the reindeer. You want to go home? I want to go eat. Hello, good evening. Say hi, we're staying warm. <laughs> Love this area, just it's so like classically beautiful. We're getting there, bud.
So in here, at Sam's workshop, you can do crafts and character story time, which I believe is, there's the sign for it, and I believe, yep, there's the tables in there. I see a reindeer taking pictures. Is that holidays baking me crazy? I think that's the holidays baking me crazy, or is that the hoedown? But we're gonna go into Moose Burger because for the holiday they have a meal that's like a holiday meal with turkey or ham. Might be a little bit more uh, appreciated maybe midway through the month of December, not this close the day after Thanksgiving. Down, which we didn't see last year, but we did note the show was here. And we just saw the six o'clock show. Quick shot of this tree, which we didn't get the last time. I love all the, I don't remember like the details of this many colors being in it last time, but I love it. It looks awesome. And it's just, um, you can see the metal. It's just like, uh, the greenery is just put around the metal and then they put the ornaments on. I love it. You want your picture? Sure. There's a snowman. Is there? Oh, there's one on the other side. Yeah. There's the snowman. With the frosty the snowman. Put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman. <laughs> the big snowman out front of Gotham City. See with the ice carver. Wow. Looks like a reindeer taking off. Oh, is it Santa in the chimney? Oh my goodness. So cute. How? 
Wow. That's They're so amazing. Cool. Like that they can just see it and do it. It's pretty cool. We are in the front about ready to leave, but I wanted to show a good shot of car the carousel pond just with the lights lined up along the way. It's always so pretty, but it really is missing those bubbles inside. So looking forward to seeing what Six Flags has. Maybe they're going to do some LED lights in there to make it light up too. I mean, that would be easier than having to dye the water red every year, right? Pretty cool with the music that's done to, or the lights done to music. I mean, everything just lights up together. So pretty and mesmerizing. I found something from Halloween. <laughs> Illinois weather <laughs> is cold. We are leaving, it is now seven. They're still open for two more hours. It is way too cold and we don't have hand warmers or feet warmers. Maybe that would elongate our time, but we're hoping to come back again because I want to see the Wonderland. What is it called? <laughs> Wonderland at the Grand. Yeah, so I want to see that show. There's still, I think, a couple other treats. I got one of the maps, so that way I could take a look at it. Plan our next trip here. Yeah. I mean, they take breaks. I don't get how. They probably, they're either on stage inside or if they're outside, the stage, the lights and everything probably are somewhat warm. We were so cold from this day that we forgot to do an outro because by the time we got home, we were like peepsicles. Um, Peeplesicles, whatever you want to call it. All of the um, shows that we were able to see were so cute and different in their own ways. Still have to see Wonderland at the Grand, hopefully the next time we end up there. We also didn't get to go and see all the lights. We never made it into County Fair. We didn't get to do the Christmas maze, which took over Big Top Terror. Hopefully we'll make it back and do all the kid things that there are to do, including cookie decorating and story time crafts and Santa. If you enjoyed this episode, mark it with a thumbs up. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. Okay, but until then, until then, Jayden, are you gonna do it with me? Until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker. What the heck is up with this? Where'd Jayden go? Right there he is. Dip-er. <laughs> the corn is stuck in my teeth. It's gross. <laughs> Danger. Hey, yeah, Wait for it.